So next along the block came a sequencing technology called Illumina. And the way that Illumina sequencing works is that you have a piece of DNA, you stick an adapter on each end. Um, I'm going to call this adapter 7 and this adapter 5. It doesn't really matter. And then you have a glass slide, like a microscope slide, kind of, um, where you've attached already sequences that are complementary to these adapters. Okay. And so you create your DNA, you attach it to the slide, and so you have one piece of DNA here, and one piece of DNA here, and one piece of DNA here. And then you do what's called a PCR reaction, which amplifies this piece of DNA just in this locality, amplifies this piece of DNA, amplifies this piece of DNA, just in that local region. Okay. Once you've got um, a, little, a large amount of DNA just in those little local regions, you then do the sequencing where you add our fluorescent uh, DNTPs. So DNTP is a combination of DATP, DTTP, and DGTP. The N means any. And so you wash across uh, the fluorescent molecules. Again, you have a very sensitive detector that can detect um, where each base is being added. And you do it by taking a series of photographs, doing a bunch of image analysis on those photographs, and that gives you this. Illumina, depending, so they have a, a couple of different machines that you can use, actually have a, a range of different machines, but their main machines, there's the MySeq, and they have the HiSeq, and the MySeq um, generates in the order of about a gigabase pair of reads. And the high seek, if you get it really cranked up, can generate in the order of 10 gigabases or maybe even 15 gigabases if you uh, really optimize it. Remember that the human genome is about three gigabases, right? So we're sequencing multiple human genomes at this time, at this level, which is what they're trying to do. Um, and the cost for a MySeq run is, it, depending exactly how you do it, but it's in the order of two to $5,000. So it just really depends how many different samples you put in, how many library preps you do, um, and each of the steps. If you're just doing one sample, it's cheaper. If you do multiple samples mixed together, it gets more expensive.